Hey guys, welcome back and we have some new cool updates here, uh, like really cool, I have to say. We will go over go over the selection pack in a different video. What I want to talk about in this video is the new secret pack that has been added that, funnily enough, I just recently talked about in a video where I mentioned that hold on on crafting these cards So when we talked about a tournament list, which I will talk about also in a moment. So we have the Scareclaw Visa's Starfrost lore um, package here as a new secret pack. So that's really nice, like Konami continuing to, oh, this is the wrong one, continuing to um, print new packs where there are reprint cards that you can't no longer get. So you weren't able to get cards like the Reichardt, the Visa Starfrost, the Planet, or the Tryhard, also Lightheart. So that's really nice that they reprinted them. Here's also Book of Eclipse, which is a really good card against Kashtira, but it's a super rare, so whatever. So what is it about this pack? Is this good? Should you buy it? Where lies the value in here? So let's just look at it uh, from a different perspective. So you can see the list that we uh, basically have talked about before in the last video. So you can see that at the moment you can play something like a Kishtira scare claw um, like mix you could say can't I just oh, okay I, it, it, it does not overlap here but you can play a mix and you can see the people or the person that um, made top 16 here in uh, decades cup uh, has uh, three Rai cards has a visa star frost and the griffin package the adventurer package and then he has uh, two of the tryhards with so the boss monster of a scare claw and then two of the light heart here the uh, first monster the link one that is able to search your planet which is in this deck three times so you can if you want to build a variant of Scareclaw, maybe in combination with Kashira, but where it gets really interesting is that in the future we will also get a new quite strong deck that will work with these new cards, especially the Visa's Starfrost, which is a Manadium, a synchro-based type, let's <laughs> click this away, a synchro-based type kind of deck that works with Visa Starfrost and cards like the Manadium cards, which is Manadium Fearless, Manadium Meek, and there's also a new one that is not in the deck right now, also Manadium, uh, I think, Ryam Heart. So, um, it's part of this Visa's Starfrost lore, which the first deck we got from there was Scareclaw. This was the first deck from Visa's Starfrost lore. Then the second one was Telemans, then comes Kashtira, and now the Manadium deck is the fourth one. And we don't know if we will get more, maybe there's a fifth one. Uh, this is the um, field spell of the archetype Peaceful Planet Calarium. Um, of course, you can see every one of these laws has uh, its own planet. But what you can see here is that this deck, which, as I already said, is quite strong, plays synchro cards, is playing triple Visas Starfrost, also playing a small Scareclaw package with one Reich card, um, one Reich Phobia, and then one Light Heart. So this is the package that is played here. And you can see in comparison to this package, which this is way bigger, uh, makes sense because we don't have the Manadium cards and you have to basically um, account for that and put something else in which uh, you have uh, Kashtira here. You could also, I have also seen a list uh, with a bigger Kashtira package where you also play Unicorn and you also play um, a Birth and stuff like that. And then a little bit smaller Scareclaw package. Um, so that what you could, that is what you could do right now. But the question is, should you do it and should you invest in this pack? So um, as I showed you, there will be a deck or you are able to build a deck now that will profit from these cards. And the deck that comes, Manadium, is quite a strong deck, though it is a um, combo heavy kind of deck, which they tend to do worse here in Master Duel as in the TCG because of Maxi. You can also see that when you look at the OCG metagame where Manadium is not the biggest player. But I think Manadium will be a deck here that you can easily take or to Master 1. It will be some kind of high tier 2, low tier 1 deck, I think. And we also have to keep in mind that Manadium is the newest deck of the Visa Starfrost store, which means it will get new support in the upcoming packs that we don't know about until now, uh, even from the cards of the OCG. Uh, so there will be new cards for the Manadium uh, archetype for sure. So it's a good investment in the future. But let's look at this. I think the card that you really want to get from here is the Visa Starforce three times. As you can see, the Manadium deck only plays a small Scareclaw engine with one Rike card, one Rike Phobia, and one Scareclaw Light Art. Of course, you could bump this up to two, maybe this or even this, and maybe you could also play a Scareclaw Triad if you wanted to, I guess. But you can see that the engine is quite small. So let's talk about when you should buy this pack, in my opinion, and when you shouldn't. Obviously, if you want to go pure Scareclaw, then go for this pack, then you can't do anything wrong, really 
really because I think in pure Scareclaw we would also play the Visa's Star Frost. And then you have one, two, three, four, five Ultra Rares that you need out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which this is really nice. But keep in mind that with a secret pack, you always have to pretend that there are double the amount of Ultra Rares in here because you have a 50% chance of pulling an Ultra Rare from the secret pack, the four cards on the right side of the pack, and a 50% chance to pull an Ultra Rare out of all the Ultra Rares that there are, the left four cards of the pack that you are opening. So this is basically 14 Ultra Rares. So you have a 5 in 14 chance of getting a useful card, which this is quite nice, uh, especially because uh, for a pure Scareclaw deck, you would want multiple copies of Rykard, Ryphobia, Lightheart, and Tryhard, also Visa's Starfrost. If you want to build like pure meta and you want to get ready for the Manadium deck here, so uh, of course you could just wait until Manadium comes and then pull from this pack because this pack will stay obviously, but let's just say you are like, okay, maybe I want to like b build some Scareclaw stuff now, then you can obviously do that. But if you want to go full meta, playing the best decks that you can, then um, in all honesty, you only want three Visa Starfrost, one Rykard, one Ryphobia, and then maybe one Lightheart. And what I would then um, like suggest that you do is that first go ahead and uh, draw some packs. So you can draw some packs until you have one Rykard, one Ryphobia, one Lightheart, and maybe one Starfrost. Or maybe you have Rykard, Ryphobia, and a Starfrost, but not Lightheart. If you're only missing your three Visa Starfrost, remember in a meta-defining sense you only want one of these, this and this. If you have these and you're only missing your Starfrost, then do not pull from this pack, but craft three Starfrosts, I would say. Because otherwise the chance of pulling the Starfrost, you need it three times, is one in 14. Because remember, you have to double the amount of Ultra Rares. And this is not really worth it. So it depends a bit when you should uh, draw from this pack. If you want to build pure Scareclaw, then yeah, great, pull from this pack. It's awesome, um, best opportunity you ever had to build this deck if you want to play it. If you want to prepare for Manadium, I think it depends on which cards you already have. And you could just wait for the deck to come out. But as I already said, pure Scareclaw, awesome um, draw from this deck. You can also see that uh, I'm not sure if they are showing it right now, but uh, Tryhard also has a cool animation. So yeah, really cool, really cool that Konami continues to print these secret packs of cards that are no longer available. I really like this. Uh, you also get a free pull. I got an Ultra Rare from that. I also pulled 10 packs just for fun, which I got a Scareclaw from a Rykard from it and two random Ultra Rares. So that's quite nice. And that's all for the pack. This is my like suggestion to buy or not buy this pack. And in uh, the next video that I will also release uh, uh, shortly after this one, we will talk about this pack. And uh, let me tell you, it's not that bad as we have expected. So I'm really uh, looking forward to see you also in that video. And I wish you a great day and we will see each other in the next one.